FNAF fans, we have got to talk about the new Five Nights at Freddy's merch. So starting off, Scarlet Joker posted, here's your first look at the new FNAF 10 year anniversary Golden Freddy statue from Funko. And this is what the statue looks like. Honestly, I think that the statue is pretty iconic. Overall, I really like the statue, but there definitely are a few issues with it. I like the way the Ender Trap worded it here. This looks amazing, but I think it should be a lot dirtier and have the white eyes. In my opinion, it just looks like the Funko figure with better proportions. And that's absolutely correct. Like it's obviously Golden Freddy, but it's not giving Golden Freddy. You know what I mean? I still really like the statue. I love how terrified the cupcake looks. The cupcake looks like it's seen some things. But yeah, I don't know. I've also seen a lot of people complain about seeing the top row of teeth. But meh, what do you guys think about this statue? Next up, we have some of the items that I personally am way more excited for. Here are your first looks at Funko's new action figures, pops, and plushes for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. I personally don't really like action figures. I don't typically buy FNAF action figures, but I think that these look really cool. I think my favorite out of these would have to be Ruin Chica. But to be honest, they all look great. But which one of these would you guys get? Next up, we have the Funko Pops, which I personally am the most excited about. We have Eclipse, Chica, and Roxy, of course. I think I'm gonna get Eclipse. I just love this design so much. I'm really excited about it. I think the other two look great as well, but I think I just want to get Eclipse for this one. And then we have these, and personally, I'm not super excited by these. We have like a ruined sun and moon. Now, I got this plushie a while back, and I've always considered this to be my uh, Eclipse plushie just because it's both the sun and moon put into one and like I absolutely love this one I think this one looks fantastic and I don't know looking at these new ones compared to this one I don't think I'm gonna be picking up the new ones they're just I, I I can't really describe it maybe they're too busy too asymmetrical there's something about them that just feels broken you know but it's in, in not in the way that I that I want I don't know I think I'll just stick with this one for now am I making sense and then another thing that I am super excited for are the new Five Nights at Freddy's 10 year anniversary mystery minis. I just recently got into like mystery packs and mystery minis of FNAF characters. And let me tell you, the second you get into it, it's impossible to stop wanting to collect them. So you already know when I saw these, I got very excited. I think the one that I'm most excited for is the puppet. The puppet is adorable in this. I like that Foxy is holding a little out of order sign. Oh my God, the cupcake. I just realized the cupcake. The cupcake looks kind of silly. Like they have huge buck teeth and a giant candle on top of their head, but I don't know. They're iconic nonetheless. This version of Foxy is also pretty cool. Withered Chica kind of looks silly, not gonna lie, but I also love it. So I could be happy with getting any one of these, honestly. I don't think there's any that I would be disappointed with. Withered Bonnie looks really blue and then bonnie is super purple so interesting interesting but yeah these look so good i cannot wait for these new mystery minis maybe i'll start including the mystery minis in the fnaf i spy games that we do on shorts in other FNAF merch news, I saw that Johnny Blocks posted that U2's released the concept art for an upcoming figure of Phantom Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I personally am not a huge fan of the Phantoms, so I probably won't be picking this one up. To be honest, I wish it looked a little bit more green in its color, like a really greeny brown gross color to like look more like the phantoms you know what i mean i know that the green is probably mostly because of the lighting in fnaf 3 and not so much as their actual color but i don't know i just want a little bit of green in there you know regardless i love you twos nonetheless oh my god i almost forgot about this oh geez this also happened this week fye released a five nights at freddy's pesto aioli squeeze featuring freddy fazbear's pizza branding us FNAF fans will just buy anything with Freddy Fazbear's face on it, won't we? This is just, this is just so weird. This is just so weird. Who bought this? And is it good? Is it yummy? And now an update for you from me. I got my cloak Five Nights at Freddy's sweater. I think that it looks super cool. I definitely got too big of a size. Um, It's kind of big and boxy on me. So I'm not super happy with the fit of it, but it's very cozy. So like, it's fine. And then I also ordered a poster with this kind of design on it. Um, 
but it did not arrive yet. It said in my package that it shipped with this, but when I reached out to support, they said that it didn't ship with the sweater. So I don't really know what's going on with that, but hopefully I get my poster soon. Anyways, those were just a few things that I wanted to update you guys on in case you hadn't heard the news. Let me know what of the new merch you are most excited about. And yeah, that's it for me. Bye.